Hello everybody, Average Gamer, and welcome to another episode of Supreme Ruler Ultimate as the South Sudan. So in this episode, we are going to invade. That's right, we're going to invade Tanzania. We've got our military defensive positions all lined up and all that stuff. So, fingers crossed that this does well. Um, I've done some number crunching and things like that, and actually looking at some modern military numbers and things like that. And to be 100% honest... I am kind of nervous, actually. Um, I have been contemplating a way to possibly buy some sort of military design tech from some of these extra countries around us. But right now, we don't have the actual technological experience to uh, even request any of these, uh, these options. Um... So yeah, we pretty much had to deal with with what we have and uh, make the best of it. So, anyways, we're going to go into play mode here. We're going to right click, we're going to declare war. And we're going to move these guys just to here. I want them moved in slowly. Make sure that we're, you know, in in supply still, things like that. Then I get the whoop, no. So these guys to go here. Because the plan is, I do not want to overextend myself when it comes to uh, supply. Nope, look at that. We're already doing massive damage to the aircraft over there. So one of my plans is to help grind down their forces. There are a couple things we have to worry about. Little weak spots like this. But we should be able to grind these guys pretty good. And not get encircled. Encirclement is a bit... Oh. Well, we just lost our navy. Which is not a big deal. We're going to order... Okay, you're pretty fine for the moment. Hmm. You, I want you to go repair. You, I want you to back up. And you, go to repair, please. The long... The, the plan here is to let them... Is, is to grind down. Let, let our forces slowly fight them. Allow our units, as need be, to push when they can and be aggressive when they need to be. Uh, you can go repair. And you can go repair. As long as we can help we can just grind these guys down, we should be able to win this war, no problem. Now, I did crunch some numbers, and I will 100% admit I am nervous about losing this war. Uh, losing this war is 100% a possibility. Mainly due to the fact that we don't have the, that like th as many units as I'd wish we did. So we're going to be constantly, constantly, constantly sending our troops back to uh, to repair. 
Once they get well, like this guy over here. Ooh. You're actually going to replace him there. You'll see that they've built up a bit of a defensive line there because we have our artillery mixed in with our units. Once they think they have the advantage, they will push. This is what I'm hoping for here. Is as we move guys around in the back, they uh, take that, try to take advantage of what they think is us remobilizing, repositioning. There we go. I want to place these guys in line. No, line up right about. No. There's not bad. And these guys are going to push up towards this location. We don't want to over uh over push anything we don't want to get too aggressive we want to use up what strengths we have versus their weaknesses and those guys should be able to go into that town no problem So we'll probably lose that town, which is no worries. It's not a primary location for us, but it gives us, it gives the AI the belief that we're actually pushing in this direction. I'm gonna move these guys over here as well. Get some extra support here. And that gives these guys, these guys, the ability to push up. A little bit more continuing to capture the roads there artillery is going to be pushing 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 quite strongly so we're going to move these guys like that to help any push up this way okay they're going there and then these guys are gonna go there These guys push forward and have these guys push forward. You are going to go repair. Make them think that this is one of our primary pushes in this direction here. Because if they think that, then we should be able to catch them off guard as we do a big push towards their capital in a few moments. Oh, let's say they're pushing back here. Let's, let's withdraw all these guys. these guys like so right now down here we're doing really well I'm gonna send up the extra units
And no problem getting into a big of a slug match over here, because then we're going to draw their forces up this way. I'm going to bring up some anti-aircraft, though, just to be on the safe side. Order that tank out of here. Oh, we lost the tank. God damn it. It's no big deal. You guys. Gonna move here. You're all gonna move there. So right now, I have no problem with getting into a bit of a slug match with these guys around this town. This will help me grind their forces down. Their capital is right here. And right now our artillery is really doing them doing them dirty down here, so. Uh, you can go repair. And it looks like we actually captured the town here. It looks like they're trying to do a little bit of a push over there as well. Just no big deal. We're going to re set up our front line again. As long as we can keep things rather situated, we shouldn't have any more problems. I am going to move up some of this artillery though, because it looks like they want to do a nice little push here so we're just going to move up with the majority of our forces into this location that we have here I'm actually going to send another artillery gun there place some of these anti-aircraft guns along here At least a lot of our weapons around here. Okay. And then back to our main, main force down here. Uh, you guys can all go to that location, please. Thank you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to order... We're going to pause and order all these guys... Uh, these guys up just a little bit. Not too much. Just one simple space so I'm not doing any massive massive attacks or pushes put some troops in there actually we can probably take this guy out right now real quick if we push forward this guy. Come on, take him out. There we go, got him. Now he's going to go back. And withdraw. Still got lots of fighting going on over there. Everyone's within supply, so we're good there. Um... Uh, all the music is playing on my uh, my TV speaker. <laughs> I just realized this. Artillery gun there. Um, you are going to go actually there. I don't know what these guys are getting hit by. Which makes me nervous. In the meantime. Bring back some of our artillery that we seem to have misplaced here. Looks like we kind of outran some of our artillery, and the artillery didn't really do much. I 
I don't know who's engaging these guys. It must be a warship. And I can't, and for some reason I can't see it. We're building up our surface to air missiles here. Engineers are no big deal. Yeah, <laughs> it's very, very, very strange. Uh, you're gonna go there, and you're gonna go there. Did I just lose a unit? Yeah, I lost a unit. Wow, those are missiles. Those are a lot of missiles. Okay. Let's move these guys up. Because they're getting hit by some sort of missile from something. And I'm going to assume it's naval-based. That missile that's hitting them. So I'm going to try and keep a good fair amount of uh, anti-air in this area. So they also could be, you know, you know, with... Could be uh, missile based. I don't know, or not missile based. Sorry, uh, like uh, unit based, like ground unit. See the part where most people would probably rush the enemy base or their enemy capital. I'm a little worried about it, mainly because of one, those amount of missiles that are being fired at us, and number two, we don't have the logistics. And right now, these guys are throwing units at us, so I am happy with the way things are right now. Plus, as we speak, I'm getting almost into a position to actually encircle the capital. We're going to actually have a bit of a curve here. Speaking of, we're going to highlight now all of these units. Shift. And order them all to that location right there. And they're going to go there. And this is where we're going to hold out on our advancement a little bit. Bring back our artillery so it can engage this warship. Yeah, perfect. A lot of units fighting over here. Looks like we've encircled somebody. Bring these guys down here and move these. Well, actually, these tanks should be able to crush these guys down this way. Though so they're at 70%, so we're actually going to swing them around. Tell them to go there, and at the last second, tell them, you know what? No, go back this way, please. Bit of a salient going on over here, which is no big deal. Okay, so the war is going, I want to say, rather well. We're going to wait till noon. Or no, daytime. Sorry, midnight. And boom. Okay, so 
It's been a couple of days now, and we've pushed in a significant amount into the country. Um, looks like this episode, this war is actually going to go probably a couple episodes because I want to take my time, um, slowly move units around properly. I don't want to just throw them in because we don't have the ability to do that. Um, we'll outrun our supply, number one, as we've already done over here. Um, anytime we move beyond six we'll say six spots beyond where our, our supply is. It takes a while for it to catch up with the way our economy sits and the way our, our we're actually sitting with money in the first place. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it, it's our, our, our Achilles heel basically is our ability to supply our own troops. Um, once we're done though with Tanzania, we're going to sit back on our laurels for a little bit. Uh, we might take on a couple of these little, like island nations in around here maybe and in uh, Asmara but we're going to uh, slowly and surely systematically um, kind of grow in the next couple episodes we might not be fighting as many wars so be prepared for that so if you think you know watching wars is boring and what have you and am I at war with more than one country or is this oh Tanzania actually had a warship out here somewhere Interesting. So if you think that, uh, you know, playing the economy game and actually building up your forces to properly play and all stuff is boring, well, forewarning, you might not want to watch the next couple episodes, at least the next three or four. Uh, we've lost three units only so far. Nice. So we're, we're doing pretty good. See you guys in the next one. See you in the battlefield. Bye-bye.